Hi there. Well, I found this copy of um, Ian Jury, New Boots and Panties. Uh, it was a bit of a sort of a, an iffy title at one time. But still, nonetheless, I can remember seeing him uh, on TV in the late 70s. He'd been in uh, Kilburn the High Roads and he'd been an art student and he'd... Um, I think his lecturer was uh, Pete Frame as well. We all know where Pete Frame, you know, did work, etc. And the famous Sergeant Pepper's cover and so on and so forth. This edition came out in 1998. Obviously, the original LP, the album, came out long, long, long before that. But this was, this was a, a semi-budget version, this, on the hit label. And um, I liked Ian Jury, but I liked him in small doses. Uh, anyhow, this is digitally remastered with five extra tracks. And uh, including Sex and Drugs and Rock and Roll. Wake Up and Make Love With Me, Sweet Jean Vincent, I'm Partial to Your Abracadabra. Now I do like that. Billa Ricky Dicky, Clever Trevor, uh, If I Was With a Woman, Blockheads, Plasto Patricia, and Black, Blackmail Man. Now, it's got these five additional tracks, which are Sex and Drugs and Rock and Roll. Remember that? Top of the Pops, and he was wearing those uh, goggles. Or was that with uh, Hit Me With Your Rhythm Stick? Can't remember, anyway. Uh, Razzle In My Pocket, Your more than fair England's glory live version and what a waste well let's just open it up it says special edition on the front as well little silver sticker I'll take this out that's the CD uh, picture in negative there of Ian Dury uh, open it out photographs and quite a long write up there and uh, it goes over the page as well and it's credited to Roger Dobson you may remember him uh, and, and this was this was actually written in 1996 with special thanks to Pete Frame and Rob Mackey uh, copy by kind permission of repertoire records now that's interesting because i've had dealings with repertoire german label as well and distribute um reissued stuff uh, albums that have not been available for a long time and uh, you can you can get them uh, on import and so on and so forth some great pictures there though i can remember back in uh, the 80s I think it was about 85. Um, we moved to Watford, near London. And uh, the, there was a theatre there, or still is anyway, called The Palace. And uh, Ian Jury was actually appearing in a play, as we all will know, you know, he's, he'd suffered as a um, child with polo, polio and that uh, left him with a crippled leg and uh, he, he also used a stick anyway i can't remember the play that he was in but i was in wh smith's and i was looking at com some computer books funnily enough and um ian jury was in there and he was speaking to somebody else and uh, i thought oh that's interesting uh, but I didn't. I decided against approaching him because Ian Jury could go one way or the other. He could be utterly charming, but I think if he was in a lot of discomfort and pain, he'd um, he'd tell you where to go with a rough end of uh, Radman's trumpet, as they say. Uh, so I didn't approach him, which was uh, in some ways a bit of a shame, but he pays your money, he takes chance, don't you? And I didn't want to upset him. And I didn't want him to spoil my day. Anyhow, it's a good album, this. And uh, it's been reissued again. Um, I think with a bit more additional material. And uh, remastered, fiddled about with. Uh, so it's worth checking out. If you're curious about it, 
check this out anyway thanks for watching if you enjoyed it click a like and uh, maybe even hit the subscribe button and i can carry on showing you all kinds of things wonderful things that i've got in my collection